Hello everyone, we are here with another video about noun clause in Turkish. Please prepare your papers in pencil and uh, take notes so you will repeat your notes and learn the language in the best way. Okay, let's go through the video, the lesson. What do I mean uh, by nine clause? I mean like this, the color of the car, Mike's room, or whatever of the whatever, or somebody's blah blah. Okay, how do we use this, uh, these kinds of phrases in Turkish? I will go through some examples, so you will just, um, you know, decode what's going on. But I'll give you the formula here. We have two nouns. The first noun, if it is started, sorry, it is ended uh, with a consonant, it will have these suffixes according to uh, the um, vowel harmony rule in Turkish, like if we have a and u, we have un. If we have a and e, we have in. If we have o and u, we have un. If we have ö and u, we will have un. The same goes here, but if uh, again it ends with a consonant, we will have these ones for the second noun. You will understand it better when we go through the examples. Let's go through the examples. Okay, we have Ahmedin, pardon, Adamın evi. Adamın evi means the man's house. Adam is the man. So we have Adamun Evi. As you see in the formula, please take note of the formula so you will uh, decode what's going on in the examples. Okay? If you take notes of these on a paper in front of you, you will just check by every phrase that I'm moving on. So um, you will understand it better. Okay? Here, Adamın evi, the man's house. Selin'in kitabı. Selin'in kitabı. Actually, here I should have added this. No, sorry. Where is it? Um, here. Okay. Selin'in kitabı. Selin's book. Okulun müdürü. The manager of the school. Müdürün gururu. The manager's pride. The example that I have brought here is only to uh, use um, the um, different um suffixes here okay i wanted to put all the four uh, in these four examples so it may not be a, uh, it, it may not be uh, chosen from a daily conversation or from a list of daily noun clauses but still um, just to make you figure out that how these will work uh I have chosen these examples. Some examples might be weird, but anyway. Okay, what do I have to say here except from... Okay, nothing. Let's read it again. Adamın evi, Selin, Selin'in kitabı, okulun müdürü, müdürün gururu. Okay. Kapımın 
rengi. The color of my door. Evin dolabı. The cabinet of the house. Oğlumun düğünü. The wedding of my son. Bölümün sonu. The end of this part. Okay, it might be um what? Uh, an episode of a series and it is the end of the episode actually. If it is a series, uh you will have this as the episode. Okay, um let me read it again. Kapımın rengi evin dolabı, oğlumun düğünü Bölüm, pardon, bölümün sonu. Okay. Now here we have nouns that end to a consonant. And if the second noun ends to a vowel, the suffix will go like this. Okay. S, C, Su and Su. Let's go through the examples. Müdürün annesi. The manager's mother. Gelinin dayısı. The bride's uncle. Çocuğumun üzüntüsü. My child's sadness. Patlıcanın Kilosu, a kilo price of eggplant. Okay, this may go with some shopping and daily conversation. So, um, let me read it again. Müdürün annesi, gelinin dayısı, çocuğumun üzüntüsü, patlıcanın kilosu. More examples. Müdürün çantası. The manager's back. Here we have the, man, the manager all the time here. Only because of this suffix. Sınavın süresi. The period of the exam. Televizyonun örtüsü. The cover of the TV. Kardeşimin sorusu. My brother's question. Okay. Now here. If the first sound ends to a vowel, we will have the suffix of nin, sorry, nun, nin, nun, and nun. And uh, as we had before, if it ends to a consonant, the second sound and the second noun ends to a consonant. We will have these four suffixes here. Görüntünün ayarı. The setting of the image. Ali'nin ceketi. Ali's jacket. Kuzunun sütü. I should have an abstract mark here. So I've forgotten. You do not forget. Kuzunun sütü. The milk of goat. Or the lamb, I think. Anyway. Babasının kolu. His father's arm. Ütünün ayarı. The setting of the iron. Like the iron that is used for ironing. Birinin telefonu. Somebody's phone. Bunun küçüğü. The small version of this. Babasının 
chicheyi. Her sister's flower. Okay. I hope you have decoded what's going on. Okay. The first noun, if. The first noun ends to a vowel, we will have this. If the second noun ends to a vowel, we have this. Kuzunun kafası. The head of the goat. Like Kuzu is a baby goat. Ali'nin annesi. Ali's mom. Ürünün kilosu. The kilogram price of the product. Ürün is product. Babasının görüntüsü. The image of his father. Mağazanın tabelası. The tableau of the shop. Keçinin midesi. The stomach of the goat. Öbür, ön büronun sorumlusu. The responsible person of the front desk. Ön büro is the front desk. Sorumlu is a responsible person. Ünlünün görüntüsü. The image of the famous person. Ünlü is the famous person. And here we have some changes that you must be aware of. If we have the sound k at the end of a word, when it comes to adding a suffix, this k turns to yumushak g, and you can pronounce it as like a very soft r sound, like ojak, which means stove, ojagun ateshi. It means the fire of the stove. And we have erkek and göbek. Erkek means boy or man. Göbek means belly. So we have erkeğin göbeği. That means the man's belly. Okay. Çocuk. We have çocuğun. Arabası, like the boy's car. We have bebek, gözümün bebeği. It means the apple of my eye. If we have p sound at the end of a word, it will change to b. We have çorap. And also we have delik, which means hold. Çorabın deliği. The hole of the sock. We have kal, kalp. And we have güzellik. Kalbin güzelliği. Which means the beauty of heart. Kalp means heart. Güzellik means beauty. We have dolab, which means cupboard. Ağırlık means weight. So we have dolabın ağırlığı. The weight of the cupboard. We have group and we have cevap. Grubun cevabı. The answer of the group. If we have ch sound, it will turn to j. Amaç, which means goal, aim. Hamza'nın amacı. 
It means Hamza's goal. Taç, güzellik. Tacın, güzelliği. The beauty of the crown. Ağaç, which means tree. Ağacın meyvesi. The fruit of the tree. Sevinç means happiness. Ebru'nun sevinci. Means Ebru's happiness. Okay. Guys, we came to the end of the video, the end of the lesson. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for you. This is a very, very important session. And uh, you will hear these suffixes, this uh, clause form everywhere. And uh, you need to learn it anyway. So... If this video was helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Do not forget the um, bell because you might never know when I will have another video. I even don't know because I don't go through uh, a time plan. Whenever I have time, I go through the lesson plan. <laughs> okay, so good luck.